Good morning. We offer our Mass together this morning for Joan Heitman. And let us begin as we begin all our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. To prepare ourselves to worthily celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who consoled the sorrowful and who mercifully accepted the motherly tears of Saint Monica for the conversion of her son Augustine, grant us through the intercession of them both that we may bitterly regret our sins and find the grace of your pardon through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we earnestly ask and exhort you in the Lord Jesus that as you received from us how you should conduct yourself to please God. And as you are conducting yourself, you do so even more. For you know what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. This is the will of God, your holiness, that you remain refrain from immoral, immorality, that each of you know how to acquire a wife for you, himself, in holiness and honor, not in lustful passion, as do the Gentiles who do not know God, nor to take advantage of or exploit a brother or sister in this matter. For the Lord is an avenger in all these things. As we told you before and solemnly affirmed for God did not call us to impurity, but to holiness. Therefore, whoever disagrees this, disregards not a human being, but God, who also gives his Holy Spirit to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Enjoy. The Lord is king. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth, the heavens proclaim his justice, and all the people see his glory. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the lives of his faithful ones from the hand of the wicked. He delivers them. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Light dawns for the just, 
and gladness for the upright of heart. Be glad in the Lord, you just, and give thanks to his name. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Alleluia, alleluia. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you may have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, for there will not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and find some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the virgins came in and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you not know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. I know we're probably heard enough and know that the early church believed that the second coming of Christ was imminent. And we even read that in the early letters of St. Paul. Uh, that conviction was there, but uh, it kind of faded in his later, later letters when finally they realized that Jesus meant what he said when he said, you know not the day nor the hour. You know, uh, to try to calculate the end of time through biblical numbers or private uh, revelation has always pu proved to be futile. It's hard to stay alert, stay awake for an event that is uncertain. You know, ask any branch of the service. Constantly staying alert just drains the spirits. And I think that the unwise virgins in this morning's gospel, they learned their lesson and it was a hard lesson. I think traditionally our church has kind of taught for us to stay prepared, to be prepared, is to live a sacramental life. And especially they focused on the sacraments of penance and Eucharist. But I think there's more than just those two events as important as they are. The next parable in this gospel is the final judgment when Jesus commends those righteous ones who gave to him food and drink and clothing and comfort by giving it to their neighbors. 
I think that's the oil that we need for our lamps to be prepared, to be ready. I think that's the oil. And basically what it is, is to live out our Christian teachings. If we live our Christian teachings, then that is how we will be prepared for Jesus to come. You know, it makes no sense in trying to calculate when it's going to happen. And we shouldn't, shouldn't worry just about sin, as important it is to be concerned about that. But as I say, we, if we live what Jesus teaches in the next parable, to really take care of our neighbors and love them, we will have oil for our lamps. With confidence in God's mercy and love, we present our needs, the needs of our nation, the needs of our world, to our loving God. For the gift of unity in the church, that God's laws of love and forgiveness may be in our minds and written upon our hearts. We pray to the Lord. For peace in our hearts, in our homes, and in our world. We pray to the Lord. For all who have asked for our prayers, and for those in special need of prayer, that Jesus may bring comfort, strength, and healing to their lives. We pray to the Lord. For the Haitian people, that the Lord will surround them with his tender mercies and sustain them with his arms of compassion. We pray to the Lord. For John Heitman, whom we remember in a special way during this Mass, we pray to the Lord. For the intentions of the parish prayer line, the intentions in the parish prayer boxes, and our very own special intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we hear. Loving God, we offer all these prayers for your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the offerings of the Church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Offer each other safely a sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, Sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter unto my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thank you, Marie. <laughs> I don't know, and if you didn't, that's probably... <laughs> <laughs>